Tonight, on Nancy Grace Mysteries, a prominent district attorney calls his girlfriend to say he's taking the day off. He goes for a drive in his red Mini Cooper, but never returns. Now, in the next hour, we unlock the secrets behind his disappearance. What happened to Ray Grecar? Was it foul play, or did he just walk away from his life? Ray, I love you very much, and I miss you. I want for you to come home. Please call us. We will wait for as long as we need to. For everyone else, again, if you have seen Ray, please contact the police, your local police, um, as quickly as you can. I want you to know that I will wait for as long as it takes to hear from you. I miss you so much, and I love you, and please call. To everyone else out there, um, if you have seen my father, um, if you could please contact the police. The day he went missing, Grecar, who was reputed to be a ladies' man, had taken the day off. He told his girlfriend that he was going antiquing. He was going driving a distance away from office and home, looking for antiques. And he was known to have done this before. He told her he would not be back home to feed the dog at lunchtime or to do any of his normal activities. He was taking the day off. He was going antiquing, and he was never seen again. Interesting, there is a credible sighting of Ray Grecar the very next day, which is a Saturday, at an antique mall in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. That's about 55 miles from his home and from his office. Meanwhile, the search for Grecar remains centered in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, where his car was found outside of an antique mall. A mall owner and at least one other person there say, they saw a Greek car inside. And then after I looked at uh, a variety of photographs uh, in, in different forms of dress, it, uh, it makes me relatively sure that he was here uh, at around noontime on Saturday. Greek car was reported missing Friday. Search crews were also back out Wednesday along the nearby Susquehanna River. And the owner of the antique shops here in Lewisburg says police even went through his credit card receipts and checked very carefully trying to come up with any evidence of Ray Grecar's signature or handwriting. But there again, they found nothing new. So the search continues for the missing DA. Ray Grecar was the elected district attorney in Center County in Pennsylvania. That's a very difficult position to get. And he had been the DA for several terms. That means he was responsible for all felony prosecutions within that county and he had a staff of district attorneys working under him. A search warrant application obtained by Channel 6 News has police looking into Grecar's medical history. According to the document, Grecar's girlfriend, Patty Fornicola, says in the past three weeks, Grecar has been more fatigued and has been taking naps over the lunch hour and after work, that she encouraged him to get an examination to check for possible medical or mental problems. He was allegedly with a tall, attractive female brunette. There was no surveillance, nothing's been caught on camera, and there was no expenditure there like on a credit card or an ATM withdrawal within the antique mall that would prove that sighting. However, he had a very distinctive car. It was a red and white Mini Cooper, and his red and white Mini Cooper was found there in Lewisburg. Now, to me, that corroborates the sighting. Some of the same divers that searched the Susquehanna River in Lewisburg back in April were at it again Saturday and Sunday, looking for the hard drive to Ray Grecar's laptop computer. There's a better indication that he had it with him, but we go back to, again, why did he have it with him? Was it something he was working on? Uh, did somebody force him to bring it with him? Or did he meet somebody and things went bad on something he was working on? And they, they did something with Ray and they took the laptop because they felt there was evidence with it. Because it was covered and filled with river sediment, investigators believe the laptop was tossed into the water around the same time Grecar went missing. It stayed there until Saturday morning when two fishermen saw the laptop and pulled it out with a net. 
They noticed a sticker that says property of Center County and had heard about the Greek car search, so they took it right to the state police. Investigators say any fingerprints were probably washed away. How did divers miss the computer when they searched this same spot three and a half months ago? They tell us this spring the river was faster and deeper. Because of the conditions, I, I think the chance of us finding any of them small items would have been null and void. We were just looking for gray. Investigators don't think the hard drive fell out because the computer wasn't damaged. Instead, they suspect someone took it out, possibly Greekar, to hide his plans to disappear or someone who was covering their tracks after harming the DA. They pulled out a little jewelry box they found. They found some money, you know, a couple coins, and they were finding bottle caps and cans and stuff. I mean, the clarity was really good, and, you know, we're really confident that Ray's body is not in, in that portion of the river. To spend two days diving in there and not to come up with anything other than bottle caps and trash, it, it is frustrating. We know, A, he's a reputed ladies' man. B, he wanted to go antiquing alone? I don't buy that. C, he left his girlfriend behind to go antiquing. I think that he was at that antique mall in Lewisburg. I think he was with another woman, a tall, attractive brunette. What happened after that? I don't know what to think. I got a missing persons report, so I got to look at everything from foul play to he left by himself. Is there a medical issue or is there a mental health issue? Everything's being looked at. Everything's being taken into account of. We cannot roll out anything at this point. But none of those issues are more predominant than any others at this point now. At this point... My name is Patty Fornicola, and this is Ray's daughter, Laura. The spelling is L-A-R-A. We as a family are continuing to treat this as a missing persons case. We would greatly appreciate if the media would continue to do the same. There is a lot of speculation about what has occurred, but we have no conclusive evidence to confirm any of those scenarios. We appeal to anyone who may have seen Rain, Ray, or has information about his disappearance, please contact the police. Thank you. I would think that they would start... Center County DA uh, Ray Grecar last heard from Friday declared missing Saturday. And Sunday, the investigation takes police to Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. Grecar's car discovered in this parking lot across the street from antique shops, about 50 miles from Center County. Uh, there was another search involving the aviation unit out of Montoursville down in the Lewisburg area along the river area, which came up negative, no signs of anything. Police Sunday also talked to people inside the Lewisburg shops near where the car was found, but no help there either. A couple people we did talk to inside today did not remember seeing Mr. Greek car over the weekend they, while the store was open. The car Greek car was in after being recovered was searched and then released by police. They say at this point there's still no indication of any foul play in the disappearance of Center County's district attorney. Some of the strongest evidence we have to find Ray Greek car is that red and white Mini Cooper. As I told you, it was found there in Lewisburg, where the antique mall was, where there was this alleged sighting of him and a tall, attractive brunette female. This is what else we know about his car. We know that in his car was his cell phone, so he left his cell phone behind, missing his keys, his sunglasses, and his wallet. He had those three things with him. Another interesting note about his car Greek car was a non-smoker, but on the passenger side floorboard, where there's typically carpet or a plastic mat, police found cigarette ash and the car smelled as if somebody had been smoking in there. Too bad they didn't find a cigarette butt because they could have gotten DNA off of it. Nearby where the car was parked, there was an antique store that he had frequented in the past, so this is one of his known haunts. Of course, tracking dogs were brought in. They confirmed that Greek car, of course, had been in his car, but they also confirmed or suggested something else very, very suspicious. Their behavior suggests that Greek car then got into another car. Typically, when dogs make that suggestion, they 
follow the scent to a certain spot and then they immediately quit and it's, for instance, at a road or a driveway or a parking deck. That would suggest Greek car got out of his car and into the car of this tall, attractive brunette. Here is another interesting point regarding Ray Greekar. In July, now he goes missing in April, April, May, June, July, four months later. Uncovered in the Susquehanna River, which is just a few miles from Lewisburg, where he was antiquing, we think. Police dredge and they find his county issued PC, his personal computer. That was a big find. Now, here's the bad part. Whoever had thrown that computer into the Susquehanna had taken out the hard drive. It took them three more months to find the hard drive. It was nearby, but it had been in the mud and the muck and the water for so long, it could not be rehabilitated for any probative or evidentiary use. They could not save the hard drive or the computer. They learned nothing from it except the clue the behavioral evidence that somebody thought to take the hard drive out of the computer, throw the computer that way and the hard drive that way. Why? Ray Greekar had everything to live for. He was about to retire, ending 20 years as district attorney for Center County. He had a daughter, Lara, he simply adored and a new love of his life, his girlfriend, Patty. They were looking forward to spending the rest of their life together. All of that ended when Greek car vanished on April 15, 2005. He took a rare day off and went for a ride to Lewisburg to a favorite antique shop. His Mini Cooper, his pride and joy, was found near that shop. Greek car was never seen again. A massive search turned up nothing then, in July 2005, his laptop, minus the hard drive, was found in the Susquehanna River in Lewisburg. Several months later, that hard drive was also found near that river. Neither could provide a clue as to Greek car's fate. Investigators have been looking into three main possibilities as to why Greek car disappeared. Did he simply walk away? Did he have a secret life? Was it suicide? Did he end his own life? And of course, number three, was he kidnapped and murdered? Was he the victim of foul play? In the absence of any body, living or dead, all three remain viable possibilities. I talked with prominent Center County defense lawyer Bruce Manchester. He knew Greek car 25 years and saw him just days before he vanished. And he was just a buoyant. He was just very happy. He was in a very good state of mind. And that's the last time I saw him. Manchester believes Greek car was murdered. He dealt in some high-level uh, drug crimes, and he was a very proactive prosecutor, and he made a lot of defendants very upset. But there are many people in this tiny community of Belfont who think Greek car planned his own disappearance. We stop by the Diamond Deli, a favorite lunch spot for Greek car right across the street from the courthouse. Arlene Milton says some of her customers are convinced Greek car had a mystery life. We just think he just walked away. And, um, I, everybody thinks he's still alive. Uh, they might have found his computer stuff in the in that river but I really feel he threw it himself in there I don't think anybody took him because the dogs took him to the car and there's where the dog stopped in addition to the sighting of Ray Greekar at that antique mall with the tall, attractive brunette woman, there have been over 300 alleged sightings of the county prosecutor. Yes, over 300 tips, um, to name a few. He was spotted at a Chili's, and the person was so convinced it was Greekar, they took photos of him and I saw the photos. It looked very much like Ray Greekar. 
It was not Ray Greekar. It was investigated. There was an, a, an astonishing similarity between the guy eating at the Chili's restaurant and Greekar. No go. In 1998, Ray Greekar declined to file charges against Jerry Sandusky, citing a lack of evidence. When Ray Greekar went missing in 2005, what authorities immediately did was begin to look at the cases that he had prosecuted. Because not only was he the elected district attorney of Center County, which covers Penn State University, but he also had prosecuted many, many people, had many convictions, had sent many people to prison. But there's one thing they didn't look into, and that was the name Jerry Sandusky. Everybody, you are seeing the live shot there at the Sandusky Courthouse. It, it looks like all hell's breaking loose. The courthouse is mobbed. The judge is take, keeping a tight rein on what's going on in the courtroom. waiting to report what has happened in the courtroom. There is a ban on us relaying to you what's happening in the courtroom until the judge allows it. But take a look at what's going on at the courthouse right now. We are live at the Sandusky Courthouse bringing you the case. Sandusky facing a max of 472 years behind bars. I'm getting the verdict. 45 guilty counts convicted, three not guilty, guilty of 25 felonies, guilty of 14 first degree felonies, 442 years max. Nancy, I was sitting in that courtroom and the silence was deafening because we knew there was a verdict and we were waiting. And there was one pew in that courtroom that was empty. And some people tried to sit in it and they moved those people out. And in came a woman and two younger women and they sat there and I said to myself, who are they? Who are they? And all of a sudden, in came victim number six this is the first young man in 1998 whose mother went to authorities and they didn't believe him. He came and he sat and he was so nervous. He was so nervous. He was breathing like this and he was looking down and his mother was so nervous. And as he sat there, and as they started to read the verdict, the four person read the verdict one after the other. His mother just burst into tears. They were silent tears, but she was holding her son's hand so tight. And I think that she is so important because she is the original one that went to law enforcement. And maybe charges weren't brought in 1998, but in 2001, when victim one came forward, they said, wait a minute, we had something in 98, and that corroborated number one, that gave him credibility. And that's one reason why this investigation went forward, and she was in that room tonight. Did anyone know about the investigation of Jerry Sandusky? I mean, people you've talked, spoken with around the community, did anybody know that was happening? No. Not that I spoke with. So it didn't get out at all? No. It was a pretty big investigation with a number of agencies involved. Mm. Well, you know, I... You would think that, you know, as tight-knit as this law enforcement community is in this area, we work together hand-in-hand, hand, and, I, you know, I'd never heard the rumor amongst law enforcement officers. So, personally, I had no knowledge of it. Police Chief Sean Weber tells me that he is going to allow the Attorney General's office in Pennsylvania to do their job. They have the 1998 case file that Ray Greekar chose not to prosecute on because now that is victim number six in the current presentment. He fully believes that the Attorney General's office looking through that case file, if they find anything that can help lead to finding Ray Greekar or what happened to him, that they will pick up that phone and call the police department immediately.
number of colleagues of mine who were very adamant that they thought Ray Greekar uh, was abducted and murdered. And in fact, there was some confrontation between the uh, district attorney at the time in Center County and some of my colleagues and firmer, former colleagues uh, about the investigation into Ray's disappearance. What happened to Ray Greekar? That's been the big question since his mysterious disappearance back in 2005. There's a new push to solve his disappearance because Greekar was the DA in 1998. He apparently had been given a report about the accusations against Jerry Sandusky. New tonight, though, a police chief in central Pennsylvania speaking out about Greekar's disappearance. So much was done, but I bet the one thing you didn't do, because you didn't know anything about it, was that in 1998, Ray Greekar had investigated the defensive coach for Penn State University, Jerry Sandusky. You didn't know about it, right? Well, no, no. There's probably a lot of cases that he looked into that we don't know about. When did you find out that Ray Greekar had been part of an investigation in 98? Whenever the rest of the country found out. And what came into your mind when you saw this? Well, I knew the media would be all over it. Um, I, you know, it's, it doesn't have any effect on our investigation yet. It might not ever. So to me, it's, you know, it's, it's really no big shocking revelation to me. So you don't think there could be any clues in that to I'm help you find I'm not saying there could. Ray? I mean, there's, there's possible there could be a clue, you know, two streets over from here. I have no idea. But at this time, it, you know, if, if there's something there, it'll be brought out by some other investigators. He was then spotted at nearby Wilkes Bar. Pennsylvania. A retired police officer thought he spotted Greekar. And possibly the one that was the most unique, let me say, was he was spotted. Ray Greekar was spotted in the studio audience of an Oprah Winfrey taping, the Oprah show. Right, a, a, a tipster spotted Greekar watching Oprah sitting in the audience. Well, it did not turn out to be Greek car watching Oprah. Back in April of 2005, the day after the elected district attorney of Center County went missing, they found his car. Ray Greekar's car was found in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. That's about an hour away from here. The car was locked. His cell phone was inside. His keys were missing. His wallet was missing and they began to search for his county issued laptop computer. That's the laptop that the district attorney of this county would use day in and day out for official business. It was nowhere to be found. The laptop was a county owned laptop it was issued to Mr. Greekar. It was when the officers came back and did the uh, search of his house. Um, they were, um, I'm not sure if Patty told Patty Fornicola, which was his girlfriend at the time, if, I'm not sure if Patty told the officers, but this laptop was missing, okay? And within a month, a month and a half, it was recovered out of the river, minus the hard drive. Minus the hard drive? Minus the hard drive. A month after that, the hard drive was recovered. So once investigators found that that laptop computer had had the hard drive intentionally removed, they went to the home of the elected district attorney to look at his home computer. They didn't find anything unusual except for one thing. He had researched how to fry a hard drive, how water damage can forever hurt a hard drive so you can't retrieve information. And they found a computer program that had, he had recently purchased of how to wipe out the contents of a hard drive. The case is far from over. Detectives here in the U.S. now working with Interpol, focusing specifically on Slovenia. Why? Because Slovenia is uh, where Grecar's roots begin. His ancestry can be traced back to Slovenia. His fingerprints, his DNA, his face, 
has been registered at all data banks such as APHIS and others and detectives continue to reissue it into those data banks just in case he turns up. Because we found the laptop that's good, but it doesn't tell us anything. The hard drive is eventually recovered along the riverbanks. The only solid clues in the search for District Attorney Ray Greekar. As a side note, Greekar's daughter and his then girlfriend have both been polygraphed. They both passed. You know, it's ironic that one of the most famous cases that Ray Greekar was ever involved in was the Penn State scandal with Jerry Sandusky. As you will recall, just recently, Sandusky convicted in multiple counts. Horrible, horrible case of child molestation, many, many victims. All the way back in 1998, a case came to Ray Greekar to prosecute, a child molestation case against Jerry Sandusky. Greekar refused to prosecute Sandusky. Greekar claimed there was a lack of evidence. The district attorney for Center County, Pennsylvania, Ray Greekar, vanished and has been missing ever since. Police even went so far as to bring in a psychic to help solve the mystery of the missing prosecutor, Ray Greekar. And the psychic reveals that she believes Greekar is dead, that he was killed, and that his body can be found within a few miles of where his red and white Mini Cooper was left abandoned. Now, acting on that tip from the psychic, police bring in cadaver dogs, and cadaver dogs search all around the Mini Cooper and beyond, and to date, have not found Greekar's body. Tony, as his nephew, did you know anyone that wanted to harm him? No, you know, outside of anything from his case history, there's really nothing that speaks to any kind of foul play specifically from that. He wasn't uh, seeking an, uh, another term. Uh, so really this year was, I guess, more of a lame duck year for him with his caseload. We really don't have anything as far as any type of forensic evidence. That's what's really hard about this case. You know, it's still classified a missing persons case, and we have no signs of foul play at this point other than the time period between he disappeared and, and he's still missing at this point. Tony, your father went uh, disappeared, did he not, and was found dead, right? Yes. Yeah. My father actually had a, a long history of documented uh, bipolar depression, so it's oh. you know it's a different case there. So he had a lot of uh, issues in his last year uh, that really you know made it apparent on his case. Uh, you know, Ray actually went through that with us. Uh, he helped me on that missing persons investigation and working with the media, much like I'm doing now. You know, the, we could speculate on a number of things. Maybe. Um, uh, he wasn't happy in his relationship. Maybe there was something from his past he didn't want to talk about. Um, it's not, I'm not all that surprised that someone would deal with something that was difficult by just walking away and trying to start a new life. Was there anything odd about Ray Greekar's behavior in the weeks leading to him going missing? All of Greekar's money is still sitting in his account. He didn't siphon it off, he didn't transfer it. All the money is still sitting there. Police are working under three distinct theories and they have been very frank and told us that neither of these theories, not one of them lends itself to be more true than the other two. And the theories are suicide, that Greekar was murdered or that Greekar intentionally disappeared. To uh, Belafonte Police Department lead investigator Daryl Zagagny. Daryl, why can't you look back through 
the, la the cases that he had prosecuted, especially the high-profile murder or rape cases. Why can't we? Yeah. Well, we can't. You know, it'd be very time-consuming, but the point is, and everybody seems to be missing it, is we don't know if this is a homicide. This could very well be a missing person. <laughs> it could be a suicide. Well, you know, with, with that approach, I don't think the case is ever going to be solved. Anybody missing in the world could have walked off and decided to go get a loaf of bread and not come home. But don't you find this very unusual that his car is there, his hard drive and computer are thrown separately into a river, and he hasn't been seen since? Yes, but there's other circumstances you have to look at. Okay, what? The family history. We're exploring the possibility of suicide. There's a history. Whoa, 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 whoa. You mean his brother committed suicide about 15 years ago? So somehow you think he committed suicide? Well, there's a long history of depression in the family. That's one With option him? that we are still looking at. And, and Did he answer, have depression? We have no mental, medical reports. What? that would indicate depression, but we But then how can you say he could have been depressed if you have no evidence he had depression? Well, there is some evidence from what his girlfriend told us towards the end before he disappeared. He was um, a little more depressed in the sense that he wasn't as active as he had been. He was not feeling well. He was taking longer naps, um, a little more moody. You know, and I'm by far not an expert well, in Well, frankly, Daryl, you could say that about uh, just about any man on the planet Earth. Very quickly, joining me right now, I'm hearing in my ear from Dayton, Ohio, very special guest. This is Ray Grecar's nephew, Tony Grecar. Welcome, sir. How does it strike you when you hear the lead detective say, oh, well, looking through all the files is going to be way too time-consuming, and hey, it could be a suicide. Yeah, it's obviously it's a difficult thing to hear, and, and but it's something we've dealt with since day one. Um, we're not naive enough to think that, um, you know, with his caseload, and we're talking 20,000, 30,000 cases over, you know, his career, and so it's, you know, you it know, is Tony, a, the proverbial needle Tony, in a haystack. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sure. I prosecuted felony cases for well over 10 years with a very, very heavy caseload. Long story short, you wouldn't be interested in a shoplifting when somebody got straight probation and eight hours community service. I'm talking about hardcore cases such as rape, serial rape, child molestation, murder, heroin trafficking. All right, I, I bet you that this guy, you could look back through his cases and find uh, over 20 years, maybe 100 such high profile cases. Sure. So is that so much to ask? No, I, you know, I. As far as the workings of the Belfont Police Department, you know, obviously the, the manpower issue is definitely, I, I would think, a, an issue for going through those cases. Um, but then, you know, the other issue is, is that my bigger concern beyond a high profile it would be the uh, person doing a slow burn over the years. Um, he was a huge proponent of women's rights, uh, and domestic violence issues. And so, you know, it could just as easily be something along those lines. You know, it's just so hard to speculate because the evidence every time something comes up it just runs into a, a complete dead end. Nancy Grace Mysteries, epilogue. Police have searched bus lines, trains, planes, rental cars, uh, cabs, taxis, to find out if Greek car had used any of those modes of transportation. They found nothing. If he did use those modes of transportation, he did not do it under his true name. They even subpoenaed and got a hold of Grecar's medical history, hoping there would be some clue there. Nothing.